Hello, knowledge seekers. In this episode of 20 Minute Books, we dive into the realm of resilience and fortitude with Rejection Proof by Jia Jiang. This book, published in 2015, serves as an empowering guide to overcoming the fear of rejection and learning how to utilize it for self improvement. It offers practical strategies from Jiang's very own Rejection Toolbox to help you navigate through rejections, persuasively hear a yes more often, and uncover the hidden benefits of encountering rejections. Jia Jiang, the mastermind behind this book, is an entrepreneur and the founder of a popular blog and YouTube series titled 100 Days of Rejection. He has also created an interactive online course and community dedicated to aiding people conquer their fear of rejection. Rejection proof is particularly recommended for entrepreneurs, salespeople, and anyone who fears hearing the word no. Whether you are an aspiring startup founder, a sales professional striving to close more deals, or an individual looking to tackle any form of personal or professional rejection, this episode will serve as your guide to transform each no into opportunities for growth and success. Tune in and let's break the chains of fear together. Rejection Proof, How I Beat Fear and Became Invincible Through 100 Days of Rejection. Introduction. Why not flip the script on rejection and see it as an opportunity for personal and professional growth? We've all tasted the bitter pill of rejection at some point in our lives. Whether it's a missed opportunity to score the perfect date, a party invitation that never arrived, or a business proposal being turned down, these experiences can be soul-crushing. However, one crucial fact to remember is that you're not alone. Rejection, whether in personal or professional life, is a universal phenomenon. Taking rejection personally can be utterly debilitating. Picture this. You've put in countless hours practicing for a dance recital, only to be cut from the final lineup. Or maybe you've been dreaming about joining the varsity baseball team, but despite your best efforts, you don't make the final roster. Or perhaps you've pitched a revolutionary idea to investors, only for it to be met with blank stares and eventual disinterest. The aftermath of these experiences can sometimes be a desire to retreat, to stop trying. But therein lies the real defeat. These narratives aim to turn that perspective around to make you see rejection as a powerful learning tool rather than a roadblock. After all, mastering rejection is not just about improving your odds of success in future endeavors. It's also about your evolution and growth as an individual. Within these stories, you'll find out how embarking on a 100-day journey of repeated rejection can redefine your perception of failure, how our deep-seated fear of rejection has evolutionary roots, and how the journey of basketball player Stefan Marbury, from American reject to Chinese superstar, embodies the power of overcoming rejection. Part 1. Embrace the challenges of chasing your dreams, including the sting of rejection. Imagine this. You have a high-paying, prestigious job at a Fortune 500 company. You're blessed with a loving spouse and a sprawling three 700-square-foot residence to call home. This picture-perfect scenario was the reality for our protagonist, yet something was missing. Despite his seemingly idyllic life, he harbored a nagging unhappiness stemming from one crucial source, an unfulfilled dream of becoming a world-renowned entrepreneur. There's a certain comfort in the familiar, whether it's staying in a job or progressing predictably up the corporate ladder, but ignoring a lifelong aspiration weighs on the soul. Upon realizing her husband's discontent, the author's wife suggested he take a sabbatical, six months to commit wholeheartedly to establishing his dream enterprise. If, after half a year, the company failed to attract investors, he could return to his former career path, no harm done. This strategy, setting a time limit and concrete objectives, effectively minimizes risk while creating a sense of urgency and focus. After the trial period, one could choose to either persevere or gracefully bow out. However, 
Merely setting a deadline isn't enough. Success requires another ace up one's sleeve, a robust coping mechanism to deal with rejection. The author's vision was to build a personal growth app designed to help users reach their life goals. Although new to the entrepreneurial world, he assembled a competent team of engineers to create the gamification platform of his dreams. He then faced the obstacle of securing financial backing. After tirelessly rehearsing their sales pitch, they presented their idea to a potential investor. But alas, their proposal was met with a resounding no. This rejection hit the author hard. To overcome his fear and learn to handle rejection effectively, he embarked on an unconventional 100-day journey of deliberate and repeated rebuffs, documenting his experiences through blogs and videos. While the author's journey was far from conventional, the lessons he garnered along the way are profoundly relatable to anyone looking to decode the enigma of rejection and turn it into a stepping stone for success. Part 2 Decoding rejection begins with understanding its roots in human fear. To unravel the mystery of rejection and learn how to cope with it, we first need to understand the psychology that fuels it. Why does rejection still retain its social stigma? Why does it strike us so deeply, inflicting a pain that feels almost palpable? Our aversion to rejection is deeply ingrained in our biological makeup, a byproduct of our survival instincts. When you experience physical pain, your brain releases opioids, the body's natural analgesics, to help you deal with the discomfort. Researchers at the University of Michigan Medical School conducted an experiment to investigate whether the brain would react similarly to the emotional pain of rejection. Fascinatingly, they found that it did. The brain of the rejected subjects released opioids, as if they had sustained a physical injury. It should come as no surprise, then, that rejection tops the list of human fears. But why is this so? The answer lies in our evolutionary past. Fear has been a crucial survival tool for our ancestors. The threat of social ostracism meant facing harsh environments and predators without the security of the group, increasing the likelihood of injury or death. This primal dread of rejection is ingrained in our collective unconscious. However, to fully comprehend the complexity of rejection, it's essential to differentiate it from failure. We often perceive failure as unfortunate, yet largely influenced by external, uncontrollable factors. Rejection, on the other hand, feels deeply personal. It's another individual saying no, often directly to your face. Rejection sets up an asymmetrical dynamic between the rejector and the rejected, with the burden of rejection falling heavily on the latter. Unlike failure, it's hard to attribute rejection to external influences, such as market conditions or economic downturns. Our ancestral fear might have been a lifesaver in a more dangerous era, but in our modern world, it acts more as a deterrent than a protective measure. To unearth the silver lining in rejection, we need to reshape our perception of it. Part 3. Rethink rejection. It's not a reflection of your worth, but a measure of perspective. Reflect on the countless wonderful ideas and golden opportunities that you held back from, stymied by the fear of rejection. To conquer this fear, you must reconceptualize rejection. Not as an immutable judgment on your worth, but as an individual's subjective viewpoint. Understand this. Different people will react differently to the same request. The response you receive is not a universal assessment of your competence, but the result of an intricate mosaic of diverse backgrounds, personal experiences, and goals. Rejection is an element of human interaction involving at least two parties. Because of this, each encounter is unique and carries the potential for a different outcome. As part of his rejection journey, the author delved into the world of job hunting. He chose to spend a day looking for a job by personally introducing himself to various companies. His initial attempts were met with stern rejections from office managers, asserting that he couldn't simply walk in and apply for a job. In his third endeavor, however, the author encountered a warm-hearted manager who promptly offered him a position at her tech firm. As this story illustrates, Dealing with rejection is about persistence, 
about trying again and again. In fact, keep in mind that rejection always has a numerical value. While this notion might seem strange initially, the more people you approach, the higher your odds of getting a yes. Given the diversity of human opinions, it's only a matter of time before you find someone who can accommodate your request. Consider J.K. Rowling, the acclaimed author of the Harry Potter series. In 1995, she sent her inaugural Harry Potter manuscript to 12 British publishers, all of whom rejected it. When Bloomsbury finally decided to publish her work, the book sold over 100 million copies. The takeaway here? Rejection is subjective. Don't allow the opinions of others to define your self-worth or the value you bring to the table. Part 4. Rejection holds valuable lessons. Don't retreat when faced with a no. Learn, refine, and grow. In the face of rejection, it's all too easy to wish for the earth to swallow us up or, at the very least, to beat a hasty retreat from the situation. But hold on. Resist that impulse to flee. This is your opportunity to understand the why behind the rejection. It's a smart move to stay put and inquire about the reasons for the rejection. This not only makes the rejection less daunting, but also equips you with insights to refine your approach for future attempts. This mirrors the retreat or route strategies employed in military warfare. A retreat is a calculated, temporary withdrawal aimed at regrouping and strategizing. In contrast, a route is a chaotic, undignified flight precipitated by a collapse of discipline and morale. An organized retreat is clearly the better option. In the context of rejection, retreating means asking questions to understand the rejection, allowing you to regroup and modify your strategy based on the feedback you receive. Along with posing questions and fine-tuning your approach, regularly changing the audience, setting, and circumstances of your pitch can significantly boost your chances of hearing a yes. This efficient strategy revolves around presenting your request to a variety of individuals rather than doggedly pushing the same idea to the same person repeatedly. Part 5. To tip the scales in favor of acceptance and mitigate rejection, you need to create an environment conducive to a yes. Before embarking on your mission to accumulate as many yes responses as possible, it's crucial to familiarize yourself with the basic principles of decision making. Firstly, exhibiting authenticity and revealing the rationale behind your request can significantly enhance the likelihood of a yes. Ellen Langer, a Harvard psychologist, demonstrated the power of explaining one's request in a 1978 study. Langer approached individuals queuing to use a photocopier and requested to jump the queue. The goal was to ascertain if the given reasons and the manner of framing her request would influence responses. It turned out, they did. When Langer provided a reason, even a trivial one, for her request to cut the line, the percentage of people willing to let her do so surged dramatically. In addition to being transparent about the motive behind your request, acknowledging others' reservations can paradoxically earn you their favor. Consider Domino's Pizza. In a 2009 consumer taste survey, Domino's ranked dismally low. Recognizing the urgent need for change, the company overhauled its menu and pizza recipes. But when it came to their promotional campaign heralding the new image, Domino's adopted a bold strategy. They openly criticized their former pizza quality, substantiating their claims with real customer complaints. Understanding and addressing doubts is crucial, as is making sure your pitch finds the right audience. A failure to do this can result in lukewarm responses. An enlightening social experiment by the Washington Post and violinist Joshua Bell sought to see how many commuters in a New York subway station would recognize a world-class musician performing incognito. Can you guess how many individuals paused to listen to Bell's 45-minute performance? A mere six. The lesson? Raw talent and sheer brilliance are of little consequence if your pitch is aimed at the wrong audience in an ill-suited setting. The phenomenon of rejection is influenced by myriad factors, many of which don't reflect on you directly. Part 6. A crucial step in conquering your fear of rejection is learning to embrace the silver linings of a no. While feelings of disappointment may be unavoidable, 
a rejection does not have to signify an entirely negative event. Every no conceals a positive facet, if you're open to discovering it. Use rejection as a fuel to ignite your motivation and enhance your resolve to strive for even loftier goals. Consider Michael Jordan. When he was being inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame in 2009, the general expectation was for an unremarkable acceptance speech. However, Jordan's address was anything but typical. He meticulously listed all the personal rejections he had encountered in his career, emphasizing their role in shaping his motivation. From being overlooked for his high school varsity team to critiques from journalists predicting he'd never match the triumphs of players like Magic Johnson. Jordan attested that every rejection had served to feed his ambition to ascend to the pinnacle of U.S. professional basketball. Besides being a potent motivator, rejection can sometimes indicate a truly groundbreaking idea, particularly when the dismissal is strongly shaped by conventional thinking or the herd mentality. History bears witness to numerous instances where rejections have ultimately signified that someone is leaps and bounds ahead of their contemporaries in terms of innovation and discovery. Galileo's story stands as a stark illustration of this. In 1610, Galileo introduced his work, Siderius Nuncius, or Starry Messenger, proposing his heliocentric theory with the sun occupying the center of our known universe. Galileo's revolutionary ideas met with fierce resistance from the Catholic Church, with Inquisition authorities going so far as to prohibit the concept of heliocentrism, instructing Galileo to desist from advocating it. As we now know, Galileo's theories were not only accurate but also pioneering. Part 7. Encountering rejection can foster empathy towards others and sharpen your life's objectives. Rejection is a universal experience. From fledgling entrepreneurs shown the exit door to street beggars ignored by passers-by, rejection is a common theme in human life. So what pearls of wisdom can we glean from everyday rebuffs? Rejection and adversity can be potent tools for enhancing our understanding of people. During his rejection journey, the author immersed himself in the lives of beggars and panhandlers. He had a first-hand taste of constant, sometimes brutal, rejection. Though it was an emotionally draining phase of his journey, it significantly heightened his sense of empathy. Among the people the author spent time with was a man named Frank who shared an awe-inspiring story. Frank was a Vietnam War veteran who was forced to halt his service due to an injury. A lengthy wait ensued for the government to augment his veteran disability benefits so he could afford more than basic sustenance and shelter. The author chose to highlight Frank's struggle in his book, hoping to assist him in raising the necessary funds to improve his living conditions. But rejection isn't merely an empathy builder. It can also serve as a litmus test of your commitment to your dreams. Famed comedian Louis C.K. labored for eight years in a nondescript Boston nightclub before tasting success in stand-up comedy. One evening, the Saturday Night Live director was scouting for fresh talent in town. All comics who auditioned were chosen, except Louis C.K. The snub was harsh, but Louis C.K., perceived it as a prompt to contemplate deeply about his dedication to a comedy career. Eventually, his break arrived when late-night show host Conan O'Brien hired him as a writer for his show. Our reactions to life's experiences shape our identities. Utilizing rejection wisely allows us to develop a deeper understanding of others, and it helps us decide whether to persist with our current mission or seek a fresh calling. Part 8. Achieving meaningful success involves staying authentic to oneself and remaining indifferent to the end result. Conquering rejection paves the way for you to embrace more risks in life. However, it's not solely about external achievements. You need to discover and appreciate your inner worth before you seek validation from outside sources. The problem lies in the conditioning we receive from childhood. We're trained to comply with the expectations of others particularly our parents. This incessant need for approval permeates other facets of our lives, leading us to yearn for acceptance from everyone around us, be it in our social lives or professional arenas. 
but this perpetual quest for approval diverts us from leading fulfilled lives and staying faithful to our authentic selves. Your aim should be to feel at ease being yourself. In other words, gaining acceptance from others is not the ultimate objective of your journey through rejection. Once you recognize your inherent value, a key to achieving lasting success is being able to distance yourself from the outcome. Focusing on elements within your control, such as your efforts and behavior, can foster greater long-term success. The advantage of targeting controllable variables is that you avoid dissipating your energy on anxiety about an uncertain future. Consider the example of John Wooden, the illustrious UCLA basketball coach who clinched 10 collegiate championships over a span of 11 years. He didn't motivate his team by harping on victory or defeat. His sole concern was the effort his players invested in the game. Wooden's approach was astute, as concentrating on players' effort rather than obsessing over results facilitated the coach's unprecedented success with his team. Final Summary The central takeaway from this book is, rejection is an inevitable part of daily life. But how you perceive and process rejection is entirely within your control. Once you start accepting rejection and drawing lessons from it, it can help you fine-tune your objectives and serve as a potent motivator for pursuing the life you truly desire. Thank you for joining me today on this journey of learning and discovery as we explored the insights of another thought-provoking book in our growing library of knowledge. If you've enjoyed our time together, please take a moment to follow our podcast, give us a five-star rating, and share 20-minute books with other knowledge seekers. Your support truly means a lot. Don't forget to join me again in the next episode, where we will delve into another enriching book. Until then, happy reading and happy listening.